Hi everybody, guess what's going to be for lunch? Nice baked salmon. So what I've got here, look, these are some salmon fillets. They're small because I could fit three on this uh, platter. And I've got some parchment paper. This is pink salmon. You know, this brings back such great memories from fishing in British Columbia. You can see the cutter, color patterns here. Um, these pink salmon were caught in the river and they started turning from their silver to dark colors, but they weren't dark yet, so they're perfect for eating. So one of the things that I love about doing salmon, especially doing them in the oven or on the barbecue, is that you're not frying them, you're not using oil. We're gonna be using a little bit of butter, and we're gonna be using some outdoor flavor seasonings. And once they're done, it only takes about 20 minutes at about 350 degrees, they taste delicious. Okay, let's get going. I've been enjoying using the outdoor flavors uh, coating for fish, especially for deep frying. But look at these are their seasonings that you may not have heard of. They're called dry rubs and they're perfect if you use them in an air fryer or if you're baking in the oven or doing them grilled on the barbecue. The one that I'm going to try today is going to be the Zesty Italian. Guess what? Because I'm Italian. Okay, let's put these on. The first thing we're going to do is put on the seasoning and I'm just sprinkling it on, not too much, but I want to cover the fish. I can smell the seasonings. They smell delicious. So you'll see it's got kind of a reddish color. I think that's probably because there's some paprika or something in there. And there's also some pieces, all kinds of herbs and stuff. So I'm telling you, this is smelling so good. Just the actual herbs and stuff that they've got in there. Okay, we've got the seasoning on there. Now, the one thing I'm going to do, I'm not using oil. I'm going to use butter because I don't want the fish to be too dry. So as you can see, I might just putting some very thin slices of butter on the fish fillets. By the way, we've got the skin on these fillets. They've been scaled, but uh, the skin is on the bottom because I enjoy eating the skin as well. So some of these slices are pretty thin, so they give me a hard time there. The reason I'm putting the uh, butter on last is because I, I want the seasonings to be in contact with the fish. So the fish gets the flavor from the seasoning and then the butter is going to go in just like this and the last piece just back here so look you can see that um, they're ready to go when this melts what will happen is the flesh will crack as it cooks the seasonings are going to go in and then the butter will go in and any excess butter will actually come off the fillets and go onto the parchment paper such an easy way to prepare fish Okay, let's get the oven ready. We are set. I'm going to put it on bake, 350, start. So we're going to let it warm up to 350. We're not going to put it in when the oven is just warming up. When it's 350, we're going to put it on the middle rack, and it's going to cook for about 15, 20 minutes. And it's time to put it in the oven. So, ooh, nice and warm. Center rack. We're going to let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll be ready to enjoy it. We're about 10 minutes into the cooking. I'm going to check to see what they look like. Okay, oh my goodness. They're pretty well done if you like your fish, um, just lightly cooked. I like a little bit of an edge, a little crunchy. So we're gonna leave them in there for another 10 minutes. She is ready. I've let the door open a little bit. Let me show you the creation here. Does this look good or what? You can see the excess butter is just around the edges. I could put it on the platter, but for my sake, I'm just gonna dig in and try some right now. So the uh, parchment paper really helps because it prevents anything from sticking onto the actual pan, which I really like. So there's no mess, no oil to clean. And you know what? It's going to be delicious. I'm going to just uh, cut into it. I want to show you that it's nice and moist, but cooked. That is perfect. I can't wait to try it. Okay, here we go. Taste test without burning my mouth. Mm. I'm going to give it a 10, holding the fork, it's 10. It's delicious. Look, look how tender this is. The edges are cooked a little bit more because they're on the fringe. And the uh, inside, mind you, these aren't big fillets. If they were bigger fillets, I would let them cook more. It is so good and so easy to make. You know what? The outdoor flavors, the Sesti Italian, gets a 10 from me. It is delicious.